Hey, uh, this is number uh, 10 on chapter 5. Um, ask you to convert from a while loop to uh, the do while loop. You're going to do everything in here, taking whatever you had. We did in uh, either part number 8, um, number 9, the while in the for loop, and just rewrite it. The major difference in a post-test loop that you have, uh, let me just get rid of this part right here, so this is a part for discussion with the same. The do while will do the inside of the loop first. So you take the inside of this, I'm going to just nag this part right here. To convert this to a do while loop, I just take this, I tell it to do, I want you to do this first. So do everything between this curly bracket, then test it. So this part becomes this part. So it's going to test it after it's going to actually do the expression with this thing. So in the example that, that we have right here, all right, I'm just do, you know, do all of this first, regardless if it's true or false with this thing. All right, so you're going to do all of that, and then you're going to test this with this expression. So you have one iteration that has already point to. Okay. And then again, again, this is where the difference, the difference between the while loop and the do while loop with this thing is it's already, it has already ran it once. Okay. And that's my point is is as you go through this, okay, uh, it's easier to convert from a while loop to a do while loop. Much easier with it. A little tricky to go from a uh, a do uh, a while loop to a for loop with it. A little, little bit more tricky with this thing. Um, the point that I I want to make here. This is this is the point I want to make here. This is uh, um, the probably the last uh, lecture that you're gonna hear talking to me talking about um, uh, pre-test loops and post-test loops. And you need to know this for your pre-test loops and post-test loop. Pre-test includes what? Includes your if, your if else, right? Your while loops, okay? Your post-test loops <coughs> there's only one of them that we talked about is your do while. <coughs> so what am I talking about? What am I talking about? What's the difference between these things? So let's, let, let me give you a little little conclusion wrapping up chapter 4 and chapter 5. Look at, there's a difference between, there's a difference between when I say, when I say, if something that is pre-incremented or post-incremented. If something is pre-incremented, means what? Means I do this. If let's say you know C, let's say let's let's pick a letter A. Okay, this is pre-incremented. All right, but this is pre-incremented versus something that is post-incremented, which means what? A plus plus. So here's my point. Here's my point. What do you get? What do you get? Okay, inside. I'm going inside my int main right now. This is my. This is inside the int main. So there is a function, your main function, with this thing. And if I wrote in here, let's say if I did initialize a is equal to five, and and I say c out print a, I want to display a. What is this a right here? What is that? Versus, let me do, the, do this, and I do C out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Let, let me let me let me clarify something. Yeah, inside your int main, you have something like this. I want to give two two variables in the say b equals to six, something like this. Okay, different value for the same. I have I have. Let me do this as the first one is going to be your pre-increment. 
Uh, I'm, let's do post. Uh, since I have A, so it's supposed to be post. Increment. And if I did this, okay, if I do a C out, let's take the C out statement right here. All right, this will output what? It's going to display a 5 on the screen. You agree? This, what will this display? This is going to display 5 is in the memory, and then it's going to add 1 to it, which means it's going to turn 6. But still, at this point, it's going to display 5. And then you come down to this. Now, the memory goes from 5. You add 1 to it. Now, it becomes 6. So this will display the 6. Okay, cool. Coming down here, let's take the other one. Let's take the other pre-increment. Okay, I'm going to do a pre-increment on this one. So let's do a C out. Take that letter B that I have up here in the in line. This will display a what? A six. You agree? This is going to also add. I'm going to do the pre-increment in this thing means what? I'm going to put the plus in front of the letter in line. This will display, this is going to change it to 7. Okay. So I'm going to display a 7. And I'm going to do a C out. The same thing as this becomes. This will display My whole point in saying is pre loop and post loops, okay, it really, pre increment and post increment has the same relationship as in pre and post loops with this. Inside your loop that you're talking about, it depends on if you put that C, that C out inside the while loop or outside of the while loop to capture each of the changes that takes place at this thing. So we're doing memory management. We're literally going in and moving, changing the memory in this. Even though this is a post increment that you see, that's still five. It's my next time I do a C out, that's when it changes to six. So that's what I want to, you know, if you could understand this, this concept, this little concept that I have, and those eight, nine, and 10 problems that I, what we've been doing, inside of the body of the while loop and putting it output outside versus the inside, you'll be okay. All right? That's it.